So typically, a, a minimum time frame is 60 days, and that is per the court statute. You are not going to be able to get a divorce prior to 60 days. So even if you and your uh, spouse are ready, you know everything that you want, you sign the paperwork, a judge will not sign off on it before then. They call it that 60 day cooling off period to, to make sure that this is really what you guys want. Um, typically though, I see anywhere on average from six months to about a year. And that's also going to be dependent on a number of factors. For example, if there are children involved and there are custody issues, that does tend to delay the process quite a bit more than if there's no children involved. Um, if it's a high uh, asset case and we're having to bring in experts and there's thousands of bank statements and other financial documents to go through, that's also going to delay the process quite a bit. Um, it's also going to depend on if the other side is either self-represented or has an attorney. Sometimes if they're self-represented, it's harder to get things done because they just don't know the rules or what needs to be provided. And so that can slow the process down overall. Or, you know, depending on who the opposing counsel is, sometimes you'll get somebody that's very settlement minded and willing to sit down and try and negotiate these issues out to get them done. Others are just more, let's take this to court. So that can and, really, really slow things down quite a bit. And lastly, too, a lot's going to depend on the court's calendar. Um, the judges have thousands and thousands of cases that they're hearing, and sometimes you won't get a hearing set for three to six months, depending on how busy they are and how much time you need for a trial. So sometimes it's just completely out of your hands.